Hi, Trey Mills, your VBA craftsman. In this brief demo, I'm just going to show you how you create a watermark text box. So here I have a simple form that I've created. And you'll see that the default entry or the value of the text box, the text, uh, text of the text box, is some instruction. So you might want to have some instruction of what belongs in the text box. Even though you have a name here that describes what you're looking for, you might want to elaborate here what it, what, what it is, okay? What it should be, what the entry should be. So kind of nice. It differentiates from the normal text, right? So kind of interesting. Um, so let, let's go here. Let's, let me first show you the text box creation. So I'll stop this. I'll stop this. And then we'll go to user form. And we'll, we'll, uh, let's look at the, uh, let's go to the style. Um, okay, so if you look, we go to the first text box, we go, it's called text box one, and you see the four color is this, right? Where the no four color normally would be, well, let me copy this and show you. So normally you'd pick some four color that was, I'll show you. Let's just do that. So, so, so you see how it's dark? Okay, so now it's changed to dark. And that's not what we want because it, it just doesn't really get, it doesn't go well with this, right? So we'll go back and we'll make it what we, so what I did was create a text box and we're starting with the lighter color. So I'll call this the watermark color, okay? Very simple stuff. So now when we run it, I'm going to jump to the code if I can. Put the code behind it, okay? Oops, there we go. So I'll run the form, bring it up. It doesn't like because I'm showing you right over v, v, over by the Visual Basic Editor. So here it is, right? So the trick is we want this to change to normal font once we start, but we don't want it. So what I did was said, okay, we have a change event over here, text spot change. If boot text, which starts as, as starts as true, I've set that elsewhere. I dimensioned it and set it elsewhere and set it to true. Uh, if we start, when we initialize, I actually make it true. Boot text 1 and boot text 2 is true. You'll see that I have the semicolon, so you can two lines of text on one, on one line. Um, so when we change this, we want it to change to normal color, and we want it to stay that way, right? So after we make the changes, we say boot text is false, so that this event could fire all at once, but it won't do anything. So let's take a test. Uh, here, here is new data. And you'll see that it's changed, and I can jump in and out of it, and nothing changes, right? So it's gone, gone back to the new text. So it's simple enough. And more new data. So just to go through what's going on, again, so I'm setting the text box value to equal to nothing, right? Because I want to get rid of what's in there. That was the de 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 default or what the watermark was telling us, right? And then I want to change it back to the normal color, and I'm done. Simple enough. Any questions, send me a note at my website. Excel and VBA Craftsman.com. Thanks.